What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Micah and today I'm gonna tell you how to fit 35 inch tires on your 1997 to 2004 Dodge Dakota or Durango. Let's rip into it. So here we have a 2004 Dodge Dakota SLT 4x4 V8 quad cab. The factory tire size on this truck was 265-70R16, which comes out to be a 30 and a half inch tire by about 10 inches wide. The tires that we currently have on here are gonna be 315-75R16, which equates to a 35 inch tall tire that is 12 and a half inches wide. We went with the Ironman all country mud terrains. So in our truck here has a two inch suspension lift and then a three inch body lift. For five total inches of lift, Putting the 35s on as opposed to the factory tires gave us another two inches of lift. So overall, we are sitting at about seven inches higher than a factory Dodge Dakota would sit. So this thing absolutely looks massive in person for a Dakota. It's tasteful, it's tall, it's loud and proud, but it's not too in your face, right? We just used the factory wheels, so our back spacing is just flush with the side of the truck with those fender flares. I mean, it looks really tasteful. Your wheels aren't buried in those wells, they're right at the edge, but they don't stick out too far. So our two inch suspension lift on this truck is very easy, very straightforward. It is on the Durangos as well, uh, even though it's gonna be slightly different in the rear. So for these Dakotas, they just have a leaf spring suspension rear end. So getting two more inches out of the suspension is just gonna be a matter of putting in a leaf on that spring to raise that up a little bit, or you can just do a two inch block style lift. Those are very easy, they're very cheap, they're very straightforward. That's what we did on ours. So if we get under here, you can kinda of see this two inch block that is sitting in between our leaf spring and our axle there. So this kit comes with the blocks, it comes with the different U-joints U here, U-bolts rather, that are gonna be longer. Uh, so it's just taking off your factory ones, it's jacking up the rear end to separate that leaf from the axle, you slide your blocks in there and then you just lower it back down and tighten it up. Uh, the Durangos, the rear end's gonna be slightly different. Their leaf spring is going to run under the axle and come up to the rear of the frame. So you will not do a two inch block on those, you'll do a two inch shackle on the very end here where that leaf spring hooks to the frame. You just put in that two inch shackle, making that distance from the leaf spring to the frame a little bit longer. You get your two inches of suspension lift that way. Uh, again, very cheap, very easy, very straightforward. Now all these Dakotas and Durangos that are the four wheel drive version uh, from 97 to 2004 are gonna use a torsion key front suspension system. So essentially you can raise them without getting any extra parts for the front end. From my experience and after doing a couple of these, you can get about two inches of lift from your factory torsion keys in the front end. So essentially, you're just going to follow your torsion bar here that goes into your lower control arm. You follow that all the way back and you come to your torsion key and this is your torsion key bolt right here. So you will just jack the front end of your vehicle off the ground so both your tires are in the air and then you will put a wrench on that bolt and you will start cranking that down. So, and that is going to raise your front suspension. Uh, on my last one, we got exactly two inches of lift out of it. On this one here that we did, we got two and a quarter. Uh, I'm just cranking down those factory torsion keys all the way. So I wouldn't worry about getting one of those lift kits that has one of the re-indexed torsion keys. Um, about two inches is all you want to get out of those because otherwise all your different ball joints and bushings, everything's at such an aggressive angle down here, your CVs as well, that you don't really wanna get more than two inches out of the factory front end. 
So just get your two inch kit for the rear um, and then just crank your torsion keys in the front. That's gonna give you two inches all around on your suspension. As far as the body lifts go for these, you know, they're very straightforward. They're a little bit more labor and time intensive than say just the suspension lifts. Uh, there's just more bolts that you have to turn. There's more things you have to kind of unhook and reroute. Uh, but it's very simple, the idea of it is that you are unbolting your body bolts here uh, that essentially just hold your body to the frame and then you're putting in a spacer. I don't know if you can see that up here, these three inch pucks. So you just loosen all of these down on your bed and then on your cab uh, and you will just loosen up the other side as well and then you just do one side at a time. So you will lift the left side of your cab up, put all your spacers in get your bolts in, your new bolts that it will come with, um, and then essentially you do your right side, and then you put your spacers in, put your bolts in, and then you'll go back and do your bed, one side at a time as well. So they're fairly easy, nothing about it, it takes a rocket scientist. It's just, there's just a lot of bolts that you have to loosen, you know, I didn't have any power tools, so, or pneumatic tools of any sort. So every bolt that we took off for the bumpers, for the body, for the bed, uh, for different things in the front end, your different harness mounts, your steering extension, everything was just turned by hand with wrenches or a breaker bar a quarter turn at a time. So it probably took me eight hours to do the body lift on this, but half of that time was just turning bolts. So if you have power tools, if you have pneumatic tools, you know, you can kind of cut your time in half. But if you don't, uh, it's just gonna take a little bit. One thing I would recommend as well is if you are anticipating lifting your Dakota or Durango, a day or two before you lift it, get your WD-40 out and start spraying all the different bolts that you know you're gonna take off. So the rear axle U-bolts, any body bolts that you can get to, your bumper mounting bolts as well. Uh, you'll need to unhook your steering uh, shaft that goes to your steering wheel. So I would just reach in there and spray that bolt as well since it's kind of hard to get to and grab a hold of. But in just doing that, letting those bolts soak a little bit, it's just gonna make them a little bit easier to bust free. You know, the last thing you wanna do is get under here and start taking off bolts and suddenly the heads are breaking, bolts are shearing. You know, you're gonna be in a world of hurt really fast. Um, if that happens too many times. So and then the, the brand of body lift I will say that I like to use on these is Performance Accessories. Uh, they just have great quality parts. It comes with instructions that are so easy to read. There's pictures as well of everything that you're gonna be taking off. Uh, it looks exactly like your truck or your SUV will look. Uh, so I would definitely recommend that. It's about $300 to $350 for the performance accessories body lift for these Dakotas and Durangos. And it's just the best, you know, it's straightforward. It's easy to install. Their customer service and support is great um, if you need it. But I doubt you'll have any questions with the instructions that they provide. They are tip top and I don't think you'll have any problems at all. But that's probably gonna wrap up the video for today, guys. So 35 inch tires, definitely possible on a Durango and Dakota, 97 to 2004. I mean, you're looking at it. We did it on the one right behind us. So if you have more questions about the suspension lift or body lift or exactly what tires you can fit with one or the other uh, of those lifts, just let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can help you out. Otherwise, guys, like the video if this helped you out. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, have a great night, guys.